Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. I'm going to be covering how to import media into Premiere Pro so you can get started editing. And by media, I mean things like video, audio. I'm going to do this episode in two parts. And uh, the first part is just going to be on general importing your media right from your hard drive. The second episode is going to be on this little item right here under Project Settings and Ingest Settings. Kind of showing the different types of ingest here with a uh, copy, transcode, create proxies, and copy and create proxies. That'll be the second episode on uh, importing media. But when it comes to just basically importing media here, there's a few different ways of doing that. You have just your regular project window here that you can import from, and you have your media browser. Let's go through the project window first. And this is best for, for simple, kind of simple files like MOVs and MP4s and audio and things like that. Uh, the media browser is really uh, good to use with, with uh, especially camera media that uses uh, FAT32 as its, as its hard drive format. Like the RED camera, for example, has a FAT32 hard drive format that it, that it uses even on, on the solid state cards inside the camera. And cameras that use the FAT32 format are limited to 4 gigabyte uh, file size. This is the max that file that, that file format can support. So if you have something like a RED camera that uses FAT32, uh, you go inside of this folder here, and here are all your individual clips. And each clip is a folder. And if we go into one of these, you'll notice uh, once one file size reaches up to uh, almost just right under 4 gigabyte, it starts recording a second one. And these are the exact same clip name, clip 2, clip 2, but it basically plays these two together. Now, if you're doing this, uh, the reason why I bring that up is because if you bring in if you try to import this shot directly into Premiere like this, if I'm just going to drag and drop it, I've got a window open here. I grab this and drop it into Premiere. It'll bring in the folder and look what it does. It brings in both files here. Uh, so it's got this kind of, so this does not read this as one clip basically. It reads it as two different clips. So we're going to use the media browser to do that. And the media browser will read this how it's supposed to be read. Because this is actually one clip. It just got up to 4 gig and just kept on recording under this second clip here. But this is technically the same clip and this folder represents the same clip. And the media browser reads that properly. But if you drag and drop it in, it does not. So it, once again, if we're just doing like DSLR footage or, or kind of handy cam footage or phone footage or anything else, what we can do is just from this area, we can do a couple different things. Okay, so let's show the basic way of importing here. First of all, if you go up to File and go to import it'll bring up open this import window and now i can select a drive to import from and i can navigate through and find the footage that i'm going to import and now i can navigate through and find my footage and select the footage that i want to and import it and i can just drag across the footage that i want to import or i can hold down control and select individual clips here like that and then i hit open and it will import my footage and there they are right there now another way to do that is to just simply hit control i that is the shortcut that I just did right there from the file, uh, from the file drop down menu. Control I will do the same thing. Now I can select the footage I want and import it. And a third way of importing, let me undo that, is just simply moving your mouse down into a blank area here and double clicking. And it does the exact same thing and brings it open. Now, kind of an easier way to import this footage, in my opinion. On a PC, you can hit the start key or the Windows key and hit E, and it brings open a folder window here, a file explorer. Windows E will bring open a file explorer here. Basically, you can um, navigate through and find footage on your hard drive. Once you find the footage you want to import, you can just drag across it, drag it over here, and I keep and I'll keep my window a little away from my um, from my project window here because if you're not if you can't see it, you can't drag drag and drop it in, into it. So I'm going to grab this footage now and drag it and drop it into the project window. And there you go. All my footage has been imported just by dragging and dropping it into the window. Sometimes that makes it a little easier to just drag and drop. Uh, if you're on a Mac, all you have to do is hit Command Tab and go to your Finder and then do Command N to make a new window. Command N as in new will make a new window and then you can simply drag and drop those files in in the exact same way. Let's show the media browser here as well. Under the media browser, what I'm going to do is hit uh, my tilde, the squiggly key above the tab key uh, to make this go full screen here. Now my media browser is full screen. Now you can use your arrows up and down, left and right, to navigate between these uh, hard drives and open folders. I'm going to arrow down, and I click on my local drives here. Then I'm going to arrow down and find the drive that I want to import from. If I say I want to import from my L drive here, I'm going to arrow to the right. Arrow right will open up a folder. Arrow left will close that folder. Arrows up and down just simply navigates up and down the column of, uh, of hard drives here and folders. So if I arrow right, that's going to open up. Now I can arrow down. Go down to where I want to import, arrow to the right, 
to open, find the folder that I want to go to. And right here, I've got these kind of interesting folders that are inside of another, in, inside of another folder. If you want to, you can just simply right click on, if I just want to import this whole roll of, uh, of, of, uh, of movie clips here, I can just right click on this and say import and look what it does. Now, sometimes you will get a message like this. It says file import failure. It really did not fail to import the media. It's just saying that there are material, materials in here, metadata and whatnot, that it cannot import. If I just hit OK and go to my project window, here's my folder here, and arrow this down, and it did import the files that it knows how to import to movie files and a JPEG, a thumbnail right there that it imported. And it also tried to maintain the folder structure that it found on the hard drive, and it kept the names the same as well. So I'm going to delete that. Go back to my media browser. You can also go a little bit deeper into these folders and find where your media is. If I arrow down, if I select on that, now arrow down and arrow right to open it. Arrow down. This is where the Canon keeps the uh, keeps its medias in this folder. It'll populate the screen with the media that it finds inside the folder, and you'll have thumbnails on it with a thumbnail. But if you didn't want that folder structure in there, what you can do is select the folder that you want to import. Arrow right, arrow down, arrow right, arrow down until you get to the folder where the media is contained. And there's my media. Arrow right, arrow down, arrow right, arrow down, arrow right, until it gets to the media. And here's the media that I want to import. And uh, you do have this little slider in here. You can grab your little slider and you can increase the thumbnail size. You can decrease it. And then you can select the files that you want. Just like media that you want to import, you can click and drag a marquee over the media. And the way it arranges these clips is uh, it starts here and moves over to the right. Then it goes down to the next level and moves over to the right and so on. So if you hold down, if you click on one file here and hold down shift and click on one down here, you'll select this range in between. This being the first one, this being the last one, and everything in between has been selected. Once you've selected all the files that you want to import, you simply right click and say import. And then we go to our project window and those files have been imported into my project. Now the media browser is definitely the way you want to import uh, red footage or footage from a camera that uses FAT32 as its drive format. Because then if the files get larger than 4 gigabytes, it's going to split them into several, but Premiere will read them as one single clip. So here I'm going to go into my footage folder, go into my red folder and arrow right. It'll open it up and it will load the red footage clips, load them as visual thumbnails here. And these are the clips that we shot on a red camera. So now we can select certain footage. I'm going to hold down Control and select just a couple here. So we got four clips selected. And you right click and say Import. Go to the Project window, and our footage has been imported. If you wanted to put it into a specific folder, what we can do is I, I'm going to create a folder here. Call that Red Footage. And now you can simply select the folder. Go back to the Media Browser. I'm going to increase my thumbnail size here. And say we want to ha select these three files and have it put that... And we want these files to be put inside of that folder. With that folder selected, go to Media Browser, right click and import. Now we arrow down, it puts that footage inside of the folder that we had selected. So it's going to drop it into the folder that you have selected. Now I'm going to import some different styles of media here and show you what the icons are. Here are some JPEGs I'm going to import. And now I'll import some audio as well. Here are some WAV files I'll import. Uh, by the way, here in the media browser, if you have um, if you have multiple types of media inside of a folder, you can go up to your little filter icon right here, click on this little filter, and you can tell it to show just that specific type of file type. Uh, like if you're just doing waveform audio, this one contains waveforms, but if you select that, that would eliminate all of the, if you had MP4s or anything else in there, and it would just show the WAV files. So that's kind of a way of narrowing down uh, the files that you want to see. But right now, this is, I'm going to just put all supported files. Go back to our project window. And let's show you these icons here. Let's increase the size of these so you can look at these icons. And let's look at these first ones here. Look at the JPEGs here. And these icons symbolize JPEGs. That These are images. If you bring in TIFFs or Targas or JPEGs or bitmaps, it's going to have this icon right here. As we move down, you'll notice this right here. This is some red footage that was shot at a high frame rate that no audio was recorded onto. This is just a film strip. That means that there is, um, that there is video on this, but no audio attached. As we move down here, this means that you have video and then you have a waveform here. This means it has video with audio attached to this file here. So those two things are combined into one file. And down here you have just audio. So those basic four types of icons there represent different types of media. If we double click on this and load it and put it into a timeline, it's just video. If I grab this here and drag it over, notice it is video and audio attached together. And if I grab this and drop it in, this is just audio. 
So that's kind of the way those icons work. And one more little icon, then we're finished, is this right here. This little icon represents a timeline. I created a timeline or a sequence, and now this icon represents that timeline or sequence. All right, in the next episode, I'm going to be covering how to do uh, ingest copying and transcoding. I won't get into it really deep. I'm just showing kind of the basics of what it does. So we'll hopefully see you in the next episode. Thanks.